Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Rysom. In this first clip in the series, we introduce the concept of profile and how it can be used for problem solving. Profile is the variation of something across the width of the web or the wound roll. This something could be measured, observed, or inferred. This could include the super important, such as thickness, density, or weight. It could also include the debilitating MD tension variation known as bagginess, that is also sometimes called by other names such as camber, lay flat, pucker, and so on. However, this list could include anything you might consider important, including the histogram or frequency diagrams of defects versus position. There are two levels at which this definition might be useful. At the top level, we do not specify the property of interest. Instead, it might be merely an observation of defects or other troubles favoring a certain position. Merely knowing that a defect favors edges, as an example, allows us to get started in problem solving even though we don't know as yet what specific properties cause or connect to these defects. We get started by observing the shape trends as we will detail in the next slide. Ultimately, however, our goal is to nail the property of interest with great specificity. One well-known example is that gauge variation on the web stacks up on the roll so that the high spots may be stretched into bagginess. In fact, over half of all bagginess is this causal mechanism and the proportion is even much higher in film and foil. This was covered in much greater detail in Web 101, Web 201, and many other publications. The general use of profile might begin by using a simple language to capture the essence of some of the most common shapes. At the gross level, this could include tapers, smiles, and frowns. At the finer level, this could include ridges, valleys, and steps. Of course, there are other shapes and superpositions of shapes. Still, it is often overkill to start with detailed shapes, as they can often include a lot of measurement and process noise. Instead, begin with the general and simple tendencies, such as defects tend to favor the ends, or lane, or whatever the case may be. Once we have a rough shape of the defect histogram to work with, we can use a powerful shape tool to screen possibilities. That is, the shape of the problem must resemble the shape of the cause. By problem, we mean CD location of a particular type of waste or delay issue of interest. By cause, we can include the alias's root cause, as some people term it, or mechanics, which is a better way to think of our process issues because there is seldom a single root cause, even though the single mechanics often dominates. Details and nuances such as this are well covered in the Web Problem Solving Modules 50 through 59 of Web 101, as well as my Critical Thinking and Converting book. We are now going to move from the general to the specific. In particular, in this series, we are going to refer to thickness or weight profile problems that can be inferred by some wound roll defects. Certain defects determine the profile that must exist even if and often if other measurements such as lab tests and particularly scanners can't see it. They often have insufficient resolution. In other words, the eye at a glance can often outperform a million-dollar scanner with regard to making statements about process profile. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my Plant Practical series. Please stay tuned as we begin our tour of certain winding defects that allow you to make strong statements about profile.